Nice rat. Would you like some cheese? <laughs> Animals can do some incredible things, from changing their colour to blending with their environment, to surviving being totally frozen in ice. I love the weird and wonderful world of animals, so I thought today I could introduce you to some of my favourites. Right, let's start with one of the strangest looking animals out there, the anglerfish, which totally looks like something from an alien planet. They live more than 3,000 feet deep in the ocean, over half a mile. That's further down than the tallest skyscraper reaches up. When you go that deep, it gets really dark. You might think that water is see-through, but when you have 3,000 feet of it in the way, it does a great job of scattering the sunlight coming in from the surface, stopping it getting down very far. In fact, where anglerfish live, it's completely, utterly, totally pitch black. Ooh. But some, the females of the species, have their own torch. Hanging off an antenna that's attached to the very top of their head, there's a little light bulb on the end that glows in the deep darkness. But the bulb's light doesn't come from electricity like mine, but from bacteria that naturally glow in the dark. We say they are bioluminescent. The bacteria live inside the anglerfish's antenna, staying protected and getting a free meal whilst producing a spooky glow in return. The anglerfish doesn't use it to help see where it's going though. Instead, they use the light to lure other fish towards them. Out in the deep dark, a lonely fish sees a light glimmering in the distance. It could be a mate, could be a bit of food. It swims towards it and then with a snap, the anglerfish strikes, trapping it with its huge cage-like teeth. Where was I? An anglerfish's teeth. So, on to some of the most ferocious in the animal kingdom, the ones that belong to crocodiles. They have over 60 super sharp teeth that are made for biting, not for chewing. In fact, crocodiles have the strongest bite of all the animals alive today. They can chomp down with a force of 3,700 pounds per square inch, which is nearly 20 times stronger than you or I can chew. And it's enough force to crush concrete into dust. It's all thanks to the incredibly powerful muscles in their cheeks. But here's the thing. The muscles that open their jaws are much, much weaker than the ones that close them. In fact, they're so weak that you could keep a crocodile's mouth closed with just your two hands. Although that's, that's not something I'd recommend trying. Oh, ho, ho. <sighs> Whoa! Oh. Now, because crocodiles have dry, scaly skin and typically lay soft-shelled eggs on land, they're reptiles. But even though they breathe air, they spend most of their lives in the water. The next animal I want to introduce you to also lives in water, but isn't a reptile. It's a crab. And instead of having a skeleton inside its body like a crocodile, it has a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton. This makes crabs crustaceans. They have the amazing ability to both breathe in the air like us, but also underwater like fish. Crabs lay their eggs in the water, and some of them make a really big show of getting there. On Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean, there's one species of crab, creatively called the Christmas Island Red Crab, that travels from the forests to the beach once a year to mate. Every November and December, all the crabs travel to sea to lay their eggs. And by all the crabs, 
I mean about 50 million of them all at the same time. There are so many of them scuttling from the forest to the sea that it looks like a giant moving red carpet. <laughs> What are the next? Crabs? Wow! <gasps> From sea to sewer, let's talk about rats. Rats are mammals like us humans because we give birth to live young too and then feed them milk to help them grow. But rats are one of the fastest reproducing mammals in the world. They can make lovely pets, but lots of people don't like wild rats. And that's maybe because they can increase their numbers so fast. Rats can start to have babies when they're just five weeks old. While our pregnancies last nine months, a rat will only be pregnant for three weeks. And when they give birth, they can have up to 14 babies, which is a lot. Each of those 14 babies is then ready to start having babies of their own in five weeks and the reproduction cycle begins all over again. If you do the maths, that means that one pregnant female rat could produce more than 250,000 rats in one year. Archie, not again, pesky rat. This means war. Hey! I got a new brand of cheese for you. Oh, gee! That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh! Nice rat. Would you like some cheese? <laughs> Giant rats would be quite scary, but what's even more terrifying is the thought of ferocious dinosaurs living among us. You might have heard that the monstrous terrible lizards that lived millions of years ago all died after a meteor impact. Well, in fact, not all of them did. After the meteor hit the Earth 65 million years ago, all the smoke and gas in the air made the planet very cold and dry. Most of the dinosaurs couldn't cope and died, but a few had adaptations that helped them survive the long winter, like feathers that acted like a warm coat, keeping the dino warm and toasty inside when it was freezing outside. Or hard beak-like mouths that could break through the tough outer shell of the nuts and seeds, which were one of the only food sources left after the icy conditions caused all of the plants to die. Descendants of dinosaurs with feathers and beaks. It sounds scary, right? Well, I reckon you will have seen one before because I'm talking about birds. Yep, birds are actually the great, 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 great grandchildren of dinosaurs. Which means the closest living relative to the T-Rex is in fact the chicken. Happy birthday, Rex! We got party blowers, birthday cake, yay! Happy birthday, son, here. Yeah. And presents! You're gonna love it, son. Oh. Uh, yeah. Huh? Hey, we got a visitor. Mark, do something! What do you want me to do? He's a chicken, we're related, he's part of the family. Hey, chicken, you eat as much cake as you like. Rex, say hi to your distant cousin. Did you enjoy finding out those fantastic animal facts? Which was your favourite? And do you know any awesome animal facts of your own? Let me know in the comments below. And for more awesome videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Right, crocodile versus T-Rex.